Disney Dreamlight Valley. I have not played this game on the channel recently, and I know a lot of you are probably wondering why, and really my only explanation is that Animal Crossing has kind of taken over my life again. I am all in on multiple different islands for Animal Crossing. I've been playing Dreamlight Valley a little bit off camera, mainly just to kind of check in on Scrooge, see how he's treating me, and it's normally pretty bad, but um, that's about it. I haven't really done too much, so we're gonna take a look at my valley today. We'll do a little valley update, and I'll kind of talk about my thoughts on the game, where we stand now, and what I'm looking forward to. Now, before we get into it, I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, GlassesUSA.com. I've been wearing glasses from GlassesUSA.com for over a year now, and I love them so much. One of the things I love most is that they offer over 9,000 prescription eyeglasses and sunglasses for you to choose from. There are so many different styles, different brands, including their in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E, but they also have designer brands like Ray-Ban and Gucci as well. And because they're cutting out the middleman, they are able to offer you those glasses at up to 70% off retail price. You can shop completely online at affordable prices starting at only $30 with prescription lenses included. GlassesUSA.com has so many features online to help you choose the frames that are right for you including their online quiz, which takes only a few minutes and will guide you towards some frames to fit your style. Plus they have a virtual try on tool, which you can use after you've picked out your frames. All you have to do is upload your picture to the site, select the frames that you would like to try on, and then you'll get a preview of what they're gonna look like. I was sent the frames that I'm wearing right now, and when I tell you I am obsessed with them, I do not wanna take them off. I love the thin metal frame and the shape of the lenses. 10 out of 10, chef's kiss, would recommend. And y'all know I can't do a Glasses USA video without featuring some clear frames. I love them. I just love a clear colored frame and these are no exception. The shape of them is perfect. They're comfortable. Plus I was able to get blue light lenses in them, which helps when I'm staring at my screen all day while I'm working. So if you were interested in any of the frames that I had on today, or if you just wanted to go pick out some to fit your style, I will have all of the links down in the description. Thank you again so much to glassesusa.com for sponsoring another video and let's get back into it. All right, so here we are on my valley and Mickey is still in his Christmas attire. Maybe I should change them. How do I do that again? Collection, characters. Okay, let's go ahead and change Merlin and Mickey back to their normal attire. I will say, I love this feature. I love this feature so much because more than anything, I just look forward to all of the different costumes, things like that, that they can incorporate in the future for other characters. And it was really cute to have Mickey and Merlin in their festive attire uh, during the holiday season. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hide this quest up top because I don't plan on really working on it right now. And I don't like to have things up in the top corner when I'm not gonna work on them. Last time I was in the valley it was during a stream actually, and we worked on this area, which is just my meadow. And I had something before and I really didn't like it. The more I walked through it, the more that I hated it. But now I really do like it. I think it needs a lot more work. I moved Donald into this pond right here, and then he just has like a little bit of decoration. I'm starting to learn the more that I play that for me personally, I'm going for like a less is more look, which is not my typical thing when I'm decorating. So it's, it's hard to do, but because I'm collecting materials so much in this game, I just can't have all of the stuff out. So I have a little decoration over here, but we have Minnie and Mickey's houses. And then we have, uh, who is this? Goofy. <laughs> and then I've started over here, but let me tell you one of my problems. And it's a big problem. Getting materials in this game is so time consuming and difficult. It's just a lot. I did make this beautiful 
gazebo and I'm obsessed with it right here. I feel like this just like makes the whole thing. And once I can get the other side fixed, you know, I think it'll look better. I have the carousel right in the middle of the plaza because I, I needed something big and bold. And I like this a lot. I don't have it working yet because I haven't finished all the quests, but it's there. Oh, look at Wally. I took down, I think, all of the Christmas stuff. I have this little snowman left. And that's that. Okay, another complaint. Are you ready? I'm going to try not to just complain throughout this whole video, but the way that they took away the unlimited... I mean, I can only buy five stone. <laughs> I used to be able to purchase unlimited stone. And I'm really upset about it, if I'm being honest. I'm glad they added more materials to Kristoff's stall, but they really took stuff away. Okay, now, before I go in here, I do think I've already purchased stuff today. I think I logged on this morning. I try to log on once a day, go into Scrooge's shop, see what he has. He normally doesn't have anything for me. I think I've already done it today. But when I tell you I have done it, because look, ooh, I bought a lot of stuff. Um, Scrooge does not like me. You, you see this? You, look, per perfect example. This photo right here, this photo. I have this one and Mickey's photo in here literally every time. Scrooge, get out of here. <laughs> These, which I thought were cheese balls, but they're actually berries. They're here every day. This is, I mean, honestly, this is perfect. This is my lineup. I'll maybe have like one new thing. Or if it's just something that I feel like is mediocre, I'll buy it. I don't know if I have this yet. Maybe I'll just buy it. It's only 600 gold, so I'm going to buy it. Okay, whatever. I'm almost out of money. I'm almost out of money. It's fine. Okay, but uh, speaking of Scrooge, I did get this hair that I'm wearing right now. How do I? I forget all the buttons every time I play this game. Okay, the hairstyle that I have on right now. Wait, let me take my hat off first and foremost. The hairstyle. I got this hairstyle yesterday. Then today, I got two hairstyles, which is so not typical. I think it was this one, which, mm, not for me, and then it was this one. So, I think what you have to do to get new stuff in Scrooges is complain about it all the time. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. I mean, when I scroll through here, I don't know what came with the game so I don't even know what I've purchased but this one was one that I've been waiting for and I love her I love this whole look is everything I bought these yesterday and I really like the style of these jeans I mean with a different top though hang on a second <laughs> okay so let's go for a jean look do we want to go with the green with the boot and the thing I don't know. Is that good? Maybe just a green? No. I feel like in this game, when you change one thing, you have to kind of change the whole thing. Okay, maybe if I add a card again. Okay, that's kind of cute. What about the green one? I think I like the pink one with the hair. Maybe we'll change the bag. <laughs> I can't help myself. Okay, we're gonna change the earrings too. I'm gonna go back to these are my favorites. And let's change the bag. Is this everyone else? Do y'all do this? I literally, every time I log on, I'm like, I need to change my outfit today. Should we go back to the, you remember when everyone was wearing the wings? That was a time. This one's cute with the little ratatouille hanging out. Should I go with the, I mean the, okay, wait. 
Let's go with this. I've never worn this one before. Let's do it. So there's really not much else that I've decorated, which is kind of embarrassing. I do have this. I put the little balloon thing that we got from the first Star Path, the Pixar Fest. And speaking of Star Paths, what do we think the next one's going to be? That's what I want to know. So here's our most recent one. We still have a week left of this. And I know, okay, the game's not even like officially out yet. It's still in early access. It's going to be free to play sometime this year. <sighs> this one went on forever. And maybe it's just because me... I, I rush through these because I really like to get the rewards. And maybe it's because it was so Christmas themed that now it's like you're not really using any of this stuff anymore. I just feel like it went on so long, like still seven more days. I don't know. I feel like they can do something really cute for spring if they wanted to and i'm excited to see what it is i really the star paths are one of my favorite things to do in this game and i know they're technically like the microtransactions but since i've collected everything from all of them well now i'm gonna have to do that until the end of time like until this game is over i'm gonna do every star path <laughs> i can't help myself why is this just in the middle of the thing just sitting there. I have no idea. So here's what I do. And this is not what everyone else does. I mean, some of y'all out there with 21 million gold, you know who you are. <laughs> I don't have 21 million gold. I have 1,500 gold. So here's what I do. I wait until I'm down to this hardly anything. And then I go and I find my bestie, my boy, Wally, because he is my gardener. So I'm going to find Wally. And then what I'll do is I'll harvest these pumpkins. I will buy more seeds. I'll plant them. And then, you know, once I run out, I'll just repeat. Okay, so if for some reason you don't know this little trick, it's one of my favorites. I'm gonna, I promise I'm gonna hit the right button one of these days. Um, if you don't know, all you gotta do is fence in your little buddy. I know everyone thinks it's mean when I fence in Wally, but trust me, he's better for it, you know? Okay, oh, you know what I didn't do was empty my pockets. So I'm going to go another thing. Okay. So another pro gamer tip <laughs> before you harvest, you're going to want to get rid of all of your seeds because if you don't, then you're going to accidentally plant seeds. And that's really annoying. Like if you're in the middle of harvesting, you don't want to plant seeds. I'm going to drop all this, not eat. Just because I don't know how many pumpkins I'm going to get and I don't want to mess up. Oh, hello. I will take all of those as many as I can get. Don't turn. Just go forward. Okay. She always wants to turn and do this random stuff. Please tell me. Okay. I have not gotten the mysterious... Is it mysterious? I don't know. I have not gotten the Wally -E memory that you have to have for this level 10 Wally -E quest. I don't know what I have to do to get it, but I haven't gotten it. So anytime I see a memory, I think it's going to be that and it's never that. So I don't know why I get excited. Look at Pua. Sidestep. Look at that little shuffle. He's so cute. Are y'all still playing this daily? So I was going to talk about that a little bit. Like I said earlier, I do play it daily, but only to log on and check Scrooge's and to buy out Kristoff's stall. 
And for me, obviously, there's so many games. I'm really focused on Animal Crossing again right now. I have three different islands going with three completely different things going on. So I just don't have time to do all of the things that I want to do. I mean, every game that I play, I feel like, has daily activities that you're supposed to do. And look, <laughs> I just don't have time for that. So I want to know if y'all are still playing daily and like how much, how much time are you spending? What if you're not playing, what's going to bring you back? I think for me, the star path, definitely. And just like whatever the next, hello? Okay. Whatever the next update is, I'm ready for it. I want updates all the time. I know that's not realistic. But I love, like, the hype around the updates is so fun. I did see on Twitter that they're going to be upgrading the storage with this next update. And I'm so excited about that. Like, they didn't even hint at it. They basically confirmed that that's what they're going to be doing. And to me... Okay, I'm not even going to bother with that. That's fine. Um, That's really exciting. Because, you know, when you have all the chests... And there's just all of that empty space in the chests. They really need to, they do need to get rid of that. Okay, let's get rid of the fencing. And then Wally will bless us with a field full of pumpkins. You don't have to chase them around. I'm sure everyone knows this trick by now, but it's satisfying every single time you do it. I'm gonna sell these to Goofy. That's what I typically do. So sell these. We'll make a good little profit here. I think I have a bunch of seeds over there. So I might just buy, I don't know, 99 of them. Because I think I have a bunch over here already. So I'm gonna start planting and then if I need more, I'll just grab them from over there. All right, all watered and good to go. You see, there's nothing up here. I haven't decorated. Oh, Woody. I need to go back to my house and I seriously do not know the buttons in this game. I need to go back to my house and heal myself or whatever. I can actually show you all the inside of my house. It is still decorated for Christmas. <laughs> Here it is. Honestly, it's fine. Here's my storage room. Nothing's changed in here, so if you've seen it before, it's the same as it always has been. And I really love this storage system, but I am excited. So if they look, do y'all think they're gonna open up all of the slots in these? Imagine. We could just fill them up. Should I change the flooring? Have I gotten any good flooring recently? Let's look. Why not? We're here. Floors. Okay, I do remember getting like this one. Oh. Oh, but that one. What have I been using? The wood? Okay, this one could be nice. But then you have the wallpaper problem. And the wallpaper problem is a big problem because these wallpapers are just not the vibe. Like, y'all, how am I supposed to use these wallpapers? None of them. I mean, maybe if I decorate a little bit, it could look better. What are y'all using? Am I missing a memo? Like this one might work. Or this one? Should I do the yellow? Y'all. <laughs> I just don't know about this. Like this is what I'm working with? Okay. Okay. 
The vibrant wall planter? I don't know. Okay, wait, maybe I get rid of this. This one? Oh, that one's so cute. Should I just put this next to? Okay, that could be cuter. And then I don't know if I want anything right here. Maybe like a rug. I mean, I've got the octopus. <laughs> I can make the octopus work. Maybe we continue, and, like, the more stuff I put in here, the more, like, eclectic it gets, and we can make it work for us. Is that too much? <laughs> oh, but these are cute. Wait. Oh, yeah, okay, so it's, like, symmetrical. I really think we need a window. I don't know how to make a window work over here. Unless we do, do we want this wall? Maybe this is more moody. Okay, hang on. Does that change things with the windows? So we've got them like, okay, wait, that could work. Cheese poster. And then some of these posters. And then the fruit poster. Wait. Okay, yeah, like what if we do like a little collage? Like, okay. Wait, those are a little bit too close, but I think it's kind of all we have. Should I use that? I don't know. <laughs> like, you know, why not? Why not use that in this room? Is there ever going to be a time when that thing is going to be appropriate? And then I'll put this here. Move that up. You know what? What if we put like a little, do I have like a little table that could go right there? Foliage, and I don't know. Yeah, let's just put like a Venus flytrap on top. We have a little room makeover. Oh my goodness. Look at us. Wow. What do y'all think? Is it an improvement or did I mess it up? I don't know. I don't know if you can mess this up, honestly. All right, back to the valley. Oh, I forgot that I watered all my plants. I don't even remember what I was doing before. That, honestly, that sums up this game entirely and how I play it. I start doing one thing and I get distracted by doing something else that I don't even remember what I was doing before. But that, honestly, I think that's a good place to wrap this up and end the video. I hope y'all enjoyed this little let's play and just talking about my thoughts on Disney Dreamlight Valley right now, what I'm looking forward to, why I haven't been playing as much. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you so much again to glassesusa.com for sponsoring today's video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.